It struck at 23.11 local time, followed by a 4.9 aftershock 19 minutes later. People died in Marrakesh and several areas to the south, the country's interior ministry said. Many of the victims are believed to be in remote areas. The interior ministry said the earthquake killed people in the provinces and municipalities of al Hauz, Marrakesh, Aorzazet, Azalal, Chichawa, and Tironent, adding that more than 600 people have been injured. Many people spent the night out in the open as the Moroccan government had warned them not to go back into their homes in case of severe aftershocks. Hospitals in Marrakesh have seen an influx of injured people, and the authorities have called on residents to donate blood. There are also reports of families trapped under the rubble of their homes in the city and damaged to parts of the Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> Some buildings have collapsed. One resident told the Reuters news agency. Several clips on X show buildings crashing down. Dust could also be seen surrounding the minaret of the historic Qutbiyah Mosque in Marrakesh, a major tourist attraction near the old city's main square. Quake's epicenter in a remote area of the High Atlas Mountains was relatively shallow, and tremors were also reportedly felt in the capital Rabat, some 350 kilometers away, as well as Casablanca and Essaouira. Simple buildings in mountain villages near the epicenter may not have survived and been remote, it may take some time to determine casualties there. British journalist Martin Jay, who lives in Morocco, was woken by the sound of screams. The quake was also felt in neighboring Algeria, but officials said it had not caused any damage or casualties. Speaking at the G20 summit in Delhi, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the international community would come to Morocco's aid. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez offered solidarity and support to the people of Morocco. French President Emmanuel Macron said he was devastated by the news and offered assistance to Morocco.
Aftershocks have been reported, with men, women, and children staying out in the streets, frightened of further quakes. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, the earthquake was at a relatively shallow depth of 11.5 miles, 18 kilometers. Friday's earthquake was the strongest to hit 